meeting to order at 6.05. 6.05. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. And is there an agenda for this meeting? Yes. Yes. And copy it. Do you want me to make some copies, Bill? Yes. And mine's all written over with notes. Um, can I share Chris's? I'll give them mine. That'd be great. Thanks. I can go make some copies. Thank you. Unfortunately, we've been there. You, 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 you want to sign in sheet, too? Yeah. Actually, we can do that right here. I think Michelle. Oh, yeah. You know oh, yeah. Just the three of you? Yeah. No, you will. <laughs> Four with Jerome. Yeah? Okay. And Crystal. Okay. So. Sorry. All right. 1.1 1. 1, reception of guests. So, welcome to our meeting. Thanks for coming, everybody, on this sunny afternoon. Um, does anyone have agenda revisions tonight? Dorothy, did you want to add something to the agenda? Well, yes, a couple things, actually. Okay. Um, I wanted to have a discussion about hiring of Brian Monica, Monica, Monahan. Yeah. And I also... Will that go in the executive committee? Can you committee? say that name again, Dorothy? Talk about it there. Monahan, M-O-N-A-G-H-A-N. -A to search for a superintendent. Oh. No. 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 Sorry. This is the legal ad advisor. For legal oh, advisor. sorry, I got mixed up. That's okay. And the other okay. thing was, um, I I want to get a time frame, or discuss what we're going to do with the fund balance. What's the time frame when we have to have that decision and vote it up? Okay. So let's add to. Well, we have three point four. Is the Act forty six update? Um, could Sorry, we put in there? It's my property. The legal advisor. Does it make sense to put in there the legal advisor? No, because that's not Act Forty Six. That's with those documents. Okay. So let's say. So we'll make a three point five. Okay. All right. Okay, legal advisor, and then three point six. Discuss the fund balance. Or maybe that can be discussed during the with the finance one. Would that work there okay? Oh, yeah. in the reports? We can do it there. Or, um, yeah. I just want to make sure we don't lose track of it. Yeah, I think you shouldn't lose track of it. Okay, so let's do it as part of 4.2 when we're looking at our finance. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Why, why didn't the, this end up on the agenda? It was requested to be on it. Was there, some? there was a request that went in to have the legal advisor of this whole issue on the agenda. So, Rick, I'm sorry I didn't get adjusted in the past two days. We knew we were doing this, so I just didn't prepare. Okay, I mean, but if we, this was just came up in the past two days, that's why we were, I mean, it was fairly important to us to get it done. So if we put something out there, even if it's the last minute, it needs to get on there. I know it's inconvenient, but that's important business. We'll have to call another meeting, possibly, you know, to well, what There wasn't any, we should have asked for a discussion item. We've adjusted them before. Right? So I thought we asked for it on the action agenda as well, but I don't You can, and you can put things on the action agenda if you'd like. And that's okay, so meeting. Yeah, action yeah, agenda. Okay. Um, we could add a 5.2 to approve yes. the legal advice. Okay, depending on our discussion. Okay, so we've added 3.5, discuss a legal advisor. 5.2. And 5.2. Approve. Approve. And then finance has the fund balance wrapped in it. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Okay. Any other revisions? All right. Um, public comments and correspondence. Anybody have news from the community to share? Okay. Do you want to ask our audience for they would like to share with the beginning? What? <clears throat> Our guests. Oh, I thought they sort of came in under public comments and correspondence, but if you would like to make some public to comments and correspondence, we'd love to hear. Public comments before we get into our agenda. We can, you also have time.
time to speak after we discuss each item if you want to contribute. Okay. Thanks. So um, two point oh, the consent agenda. So two point one is to approve the minutes of March twenty one and March twenty seven. Have you found anything, Katie, that you need to fix? <laughs> Only tell me. <laughs> no. Look <laughs> good. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, I, I move to accept um, March 21st and March 27th minutes to approve them. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor of approving the minutes? Please say aye. 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 Great. Okay, 3.0 discussion agenda. So. 3.1 is a reflection on school district meetings. I don't know what that for. So Susanna had said that that was to talk about the meeting, the March meeting. No, you've already done that one, so it would be yeah. just the meeting for Tuesday night. Okay. Right, because, because we already talked it, about yeah. town meeting. Right. Right. Yeah. So, okay. All right, I don't think we have anything to go with. There were 40-some-odd people there. And I was surprised on such a nice night and such goofy <coughs> roads. And they were very interested and very involved. And um, they were glad that we were doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I was really impressed with that, too. A strong turnout for that meeting. And and a very, you know, very strong backing, too, for the, mm -hmm. the efforts we're taking. Mm -hmm. And reiterated at the end that they wanted us to do all we could do to prevent the consolidation. Mm -hmm. And continue on the path of resistance. Better way to put it. <laughs> okay. Any further discussion? All right. So 3.2 is staffing update. So um, I think you've been aware that Kelly McMartin is, um, as we had a staff member leaving, uh, had a chance to come back. Mm -hmm. And she's accepted that. She'll be in the 5-6 uh, area, mm -hmm. working with Damien there. Mm -hmm. um, and but we still have some need for some behavioral supports as Kat talked to you about in the previous meetings. Right. Um, it is something we're probably going to need to have more discussions about. Um, in this, Kat spends quite a bit of her time on student issues right now, and that's taking away from other work that she should be doing in the building. Um, so, in other words, she's being a behaviorist. Yes. On top of being principal. On top of being principal. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to need to, we're going to need to keep working on that. Um, I know that um, it's one of the things that we've looked at within the budget. Is that something that's able to be uh, covered within the budget for next year? And it's not fully there. I mean, there's a little bit of money, but not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something we're going to have to continue to talk about, that she needs that support. And um, it may be hard to do with our current staffing configuration. Okay. Do we have, it, I don't know whether that's the word, it's numbers or the number of children who need support of any kind, behavior as well as IEPs and so forth. Is that general number in regard to the total population? Staying the same, going up, going down. Where where are we? Do we know? I don't know off the top of my hand, Dorothy, to give you a comparison. I have a feeling for I it. I have a feeling that it's going up some. Okay. Yep. I don't keep track of those numbers the way Kat does mm -hmm. for your building. Right, and yeah. we've changed our structure <clears throat> of support in the building somewhat. Yeah, and that's I think working for what we expected. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that there's some other needs that are coming to, coming up that were anticipated. Okay. Both in number and severity. And are we talking about hiring 
a one-on-one, or we're talking more about a general person a in general, the building? A general person in the building. A general, it's a general person in the building with all students. We're don't not necessarily have an IEP education. or 504. Yeah, this is not right. a special education. This is a general right. education cost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We've been trying to find a way to do it within the existing budget yeah. or the existing personnel structure. It's not been easy to do. Okay. Because she did have some ideas. She did. And if you wanted to talk about those ideas, We'd I'd have to, to go into executive, executive session because I'd be discussing personnel. Right. Do you think we need to do that tonight or we should wait because she's working in a, she's in the middle of working on it? She said she was comfortable with me going into executive session and tell you what's going on with some of the ideas she had told you in the previous executive okay. session. Okay. Do, do we want to add that to the end of the meeting? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. So after the board communication. Just go into executive yeah. session? Yeah, sure. We'll end section, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. To discuss? Personnel issues. Personnel. Okay. Anything else on staffing update? Uh, I think, so. Well, I'll give this here. She would have given, Kat, you probably would have given it in her administrative report, but, mm -hmm. um, she really wants to thank the community's been hearing that and helped with um, getting some support from Plainfield Health Center mm -hmm. and supporting the staff here and some of the work they've been doing. Is that the woman who's been coming and doing coaching? Not yet. Okay. That's a different piece. So what did I miss that? So, Kat's talked to you about the su need supports of the staff yeah. and some of the secondary trauma effects. Okay. And there's been, there's Scott Bassey just sits on the uh, Plainfield Health Center board, right. okay. and he's very helpful. Denise does too. Oh, Denise, you do too. Yeah, thank you, Denise. Yeah. And helpful in starting to get some things going to help the staff here. So yeah, we, we brought it up at a board meeting. So thank you. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. News. So that's that's getting going. It hasn't started yet, but it's going a little faster. It's a yeah. good so thank staff you. support more yeah. than anything, right? Yeah, for yeah. the staff. This they call it secondary trauma. So the trauma they're experiencing from encountering the trauma of the kids, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't want you to get into those Jesus shows. Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Never felt more like a fat kid than trying to get into a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> Any the other trap. questions about? Actually, while we're talking about staffing, it's just reminding me there was one important thing in the minutes. Beth Downing, we spelled her name wrong. Okay. Okay. Make sure we do that. Um, any other questions about staffing updates? <coughs> okay. Thanks, Bill. You're welcome. And this will <coughs> this inform you about staffing a little bit. We'll go into the next item on small schools grant. Great. So the small schools grant. Yeah. So the. For the current budget that was adopted, um, the small schools grant is anticipated at about is budgeted at about sixty five thousand uh -huh. dollars. Um, with a grant that Laura is projecting, we think we're in the ninety five to one hundred thousand dollars of what we receive next year. So there's a, there should be some extra revenue there, um, but we would need authorization to go beyond the bottom line. And so when we talk about supports needed for behavior there's a possible revenue here. Okay. Um, we don't know exactly, because that doesn't get set until the end of the legislative session based on where the base support for pupil gets no. set. <laughs> you guys all know that. Yeah. But so the it, there's some relativeness in all of this, but lawyers' estimations are usually pretty good, so. Yeah, as good as they can get, though, pretty much. What? As good as they can get, she mentioned. Yeah, she's usually within a few percent of error, so mm -hmm. we'll take her. Estimations. So I know that you guys had asked about that. What was the differential there? Right, and we'd asked Kat to think of some priorities. So right, like this is. The, I would tell you from my conversation with Kat, this is her her priority right now. Mm -hmm. Supports for, for mm -hmm. students. That's the number one priority. So. Yeah. So there's about thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars. We're thinking will be in a extra revenue. But if it's not on our bottom line of the budget, you have to you have it? you have to authorize it to go beyond. Oh, okay. Beyond the 
to authorize to overspend the budget. Yeah. Yeah. Basically you, the you, you can't, yeah, you always authorize us to go into fund balance. The question is, and I don't know the next, the next question I would anticipate is I don't know how that gets done this year if there is a merger. I, I don't. I just don't know the answer. But I think if this board were to pass it, I would assume that that Very would be on there. Yeah, it's. I, I just don't know, Rick, exactly how that. How I that mean, works. theoretically, if it's a merger, it goes into the big pot, and we don't necessarily get it all. In theory, and and, and technically, yes. Yeah. But I think with the tone of the folks that are on the board that are going for election, I think, I think that would be honored. Be, yep. I think it would be honored. Great. Um, do we want to? Well, we'll continue to follow up with Kat about the mm -hmm. small school grant when she's. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, we'll keep. We'll give you a better. Great. We'll be giving you better projections as we go, as we know. We won't really know anything until the end of the legislative session at this point. Mm -hmm. So when we're when, not, when we take action, we'll take action on this in June or. Yeah, I would say June is probably your best place to take action. I would say actually to take action on the author. It's the authorization. Of you know, hey, we we probably we'd want to do it in two steps. Usually, we would do it in one, but go ahead and go hire. You know, start advertising to hire someone for a different position. We'll talk more after the executive session on that. Well, and okay. we have another board meeting in May. Right, May you have a May and a June. We might, June fifth. We, yeah, we'll yeah we have and you may have others you need to have. So yeah. Okay. So we should put that on future agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything further on the small schools grant? So 3.4 is Act 46 update. I don't think we had the organizational meeting. Mm -hmm. And then we have the petitions the for the people <coughs> running for the board. We had a second transition board meeting. Mm -hmm. And that's where we are, and the second transition board has found out they have a lot of work to do, <laughs> have a lot of hard decisions to make, um, but uh, we'll be able to do it, I'm sure. They are going to try to pull together a public forum. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. And, and For um, to meet the candidates? The uh, League of Women Voters um, and Susan Clark have uh, suggested it, and and we agreed with it, and so <clears throat> Scott and I have been tasked with coordinating it with the Women's the League. League, of, League of Voters. League, League, of, League of, Women's of Women's Voters. So the, that, and we're hoping that will happen May 9th. We don't know for sure. Okay. You're just, you're just doing that at U32 then? We will have it, at, well, we think we're having it. it each each school. We don't have time to do a, 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 a voter thing at each school. We want we, U32 is a natural place because it's for all yep. five towns. And our problem now is making sure that Bill can find out if we have a space or what space we'll get to use. Um, that, that will be important too because we're all voting on all candidates. So. Right. We probably won't know the people from all the other towns. So, so. And uh, there's also a plan to have a, a little 150-word piece about the candidates sending themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't know who we decided that's going to do, but that will be on the Washington Central website or the city. Which it'll be on the Washington Central website. Yeah, it'll be on the Washington Central website. Be nice if it was posted someplace else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more easy to access. Well, I think we should put it on the town website, too. Well, we can ha ask the uh, town clerks to put it on their websites. and yeah. um, Or at least a link. And then link mm -hmm. to Front Porch Warm, of course. So right. Can and yes, it's uh, they're going to do, um, uh, Matt will write an announcement of, of it, about it that will mm -hmm. go on all the Front Porch Warm. Yeah, it's just so hard to find anything on the... Mm -hmm. Other website. Yeah. Well, sometimes if you put the specific, give people the specific link, it works. Not just go to the website. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's what I know about Act 46. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's a great ending. <laughs> I think you know more than that. But. Yes. It's all on hold right now. Wait. <laughs> Wait and see. Cheers. Okay. That's where we are. And then Bill sent us the update on where they are with budgeting and meeting. Yeah, we sent, they sent that what we sent to the transition board. We sent to everybody so everyone had that. Yeah. Um, where we're at. And we just finished the meeting of the transition board. And the different pieces we need to get through. Okay. I think we're ready for 3.5, discuss a legal advisor. So Dorothy contacted... I contacted Brian Moynihan. He used to work uh, at the League of Cities and Towns years ago. I knew him when I was a zoning administrator. <clears throat> and he has a, um, a, a law firm in Burlington with a few other lawyers there. And I talked to him and he said he could help us. I sent him all the information about the fact that we needed to get together with the select board and Jim Barlow to um, have the wording on these documents accurate and the dates and get together for that meeting. And I sent him a list of meeting times. And I'm going to pass. I didn't have time. I got this late, so I couldn't send it to everybody. But this is um, his, oh. This is his, um, called a representation agreement, um, and it's a little bit Maybe you did some to me. Okay. the regular uh, stuff that goes, can I, let me see if we need another one, I can email one to you, is that right? Um, the interesting thing is I don't know how much other lawyers have cost, but his Fee is one hundred and sixty-five dollars an hour, um, and it's one thirty-five. No, oh, one thirty-five for the associate. for the associates. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you need one thirty-five. Yeah, I think I have one for you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. So we, I also sent him a list of dates that were not good. <laughs> well. You might as well ahead of time. And um, I, we'll just have to get together with the select board and him, I guess, and Jim to pick a date when we can have a, a warned meeting for both boards. It might have to be a special meeting on both boards' parts. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming it will, yeah. one or the other. More likely us than you. I don't know. Because your meetings are full. Right. Right. So, um, I guess what we need to do is decide, you know, if we want to go uh, with Mr. Moynihan. He is a municipal lawyer. He um, is well versed, and I can give you his. I can email you his website, which tells you all the various um, court cases he's had, what he takes care of, and I think this is the agreement. Is very narrow. Mm -hmm. It will only cover this specific thing. Oh, when I emailed him, I also I emailed him all the documents, um, the memo that we had gotten from uh, Scott Cameron, and there was one other. I guess the calendar was the other thing. I can't, there was a fourth thing I emailed. Him. I think it was the calendar. So we have to make that decision later on at the action agenda, but I can answer any questions. I used him when he was at the League of Cities and Towns. He's a very reasonable, thoughtful person, fairly easy to talk to. And um, I think it, it, I would become very comfortable making sure this is all straightforward. And if we have to warn another meeting to have the warning different, or I, I was not comfortable with the fact that what we asked people to vote on were the actual drafts, there weren't any dates in them. So I'm thinking maybe. Can you have the dates? Yeah. There were, seemed to be some blanks. 
And I didn't know if those needed to have been filled in before we asked them to vote on it. Yes. Oh, that's... That's where you sign it, but okay. yeah, is, do you sign it before or after? After it's resolved by the voters. Okay. Yeah, it would be you couldn't done. sign it before it was resolved by the well, voters. Well, yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> otherwise the meeting wouldn't have been necessary. But since we, we labeled as a draft, I want to make sure that it's... So it's a draft, it's, oh, so Dorothy, just in any documents we've done, we haven't done a lot of these, one, two, it's always drafted until it's approved by the voters, the way Scott's okay. signed it so right. to me. So then you have a, a piece that comes out after. That's signed. That's signed. Mm -hmm. So I don't. You don't think we'll. You don't think you need to worry about the draft piece on it. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think the only reason we need to warn another meeting is if. So, yeah, Scott means, Cameron finds that. So, I'm not going to have Scott do any more. You decide who you right. want to do this. Or if okay. we find that the, the way we amended to authorize right. the school yeah. board is, in fact, not proper, which it looks like it is by the statute, but we just yeah. want to double check to right. make sure. So, yeah. can I, Katie, can I just give him the information yeah. that I talked to Scott today? He had surgery yesterday. Oh. So, he was good enough to call me back today and say, Bill, what's up? I thought we were all ready to go, so we'd go through that meeting and it'd be all set. Because he had worked with Jim Barlow. On putting together the documents, they had worked together on that. Uh, the documents, but I think and it's so, not so the I, warning. That was the problem. Not the right, the warning was the problem. Not the, mm -hmm. not the wording for the warning. Okay. That was the, what that what ended up to be the problem. But we made we amended. I understand. I understand. Yeah. And 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 Scott doesn't know. I mean, he literally doesn't know. So it could be fine with what's okay. done, and you don't have to do any more district meetings. But he didn't know. Doesn't know the answer either way. And if you're going to have another attorney work on this, you should move everything over to that attorney. Or you can keep Scott doing the work, who's already got time invested in it. It's totally up to you guys. I don't think it's going to bother Scott. It's not going to bother me. My intent of everything we were doing was to get this thing done. Right. And I think, you, Dorothy, you and I talked about that right. enough. Yep. So it's how you want to do it. Totally up to you. But I just, I, I want to see it solid. And the solid piece when I talked to Scott was, we just don't know with that amendment that was done at the meeting if that's going to require another meeting or not. Just don't know the answer as of today, January 25th, or well, April 25th. You're going back. You're going back a ways. <laughs> or forward. I don't know which one you're doing. But. I meant April. April. It's not January. I just lost the snow in my yard out loud. three or four days ago, I so I it. thought it was. I, I, know. I still have snow. Um, so my question is to... to my fellow board members is, um, you know, we did send, we did in fact send these documents to Scott Cameron. He did in fact give us his legal advice, which we did send to Jim Barlow. So I don't understand. We have consulted with an attorney who has looked at these documents on our behalf and has given us an opinion. I don't know, do we need to go to a second attorney and have a second opinion on these documents? I think the, the conversation the other night it was, or the other day was about, you know, the legality of what we were doing, right? And there was a question about that. And I, I personally think it's smart to go and get an outside, of not somebody that's working for the SU. And I know Scott really well. I trust him a lot. But, I mean, personally, my trust hasn't gone real far with Leopold or, you know, I don't know who's their, their interests here. Mm -hmm. You know, they're kind of opposing. And so I... I Leopold has not touched this at all. This is all oh, I get it. I get it. But we, I'm talking about that in the context of the bigger. Our tr my, tr my personal trust isn't right. always there that the interests of Callis are in mind. Okay. And so but that's Scott why. Scott did not the, say there was any problem with the legality of the documents. <laughs> right? Right. Well, but there's I, the process, right? I, now, but I think because we made the amendment, mm -hmm. we are in a position where we have to. And I think. Jim especially would feel comfortable, more comfortable having us, <coughs> that's the message I got, mm -hmm. that he felt would feel more comfortable if the two boards met. It wouldn't be very long if, if everything mm -hmm. is A-OK. -okay. Mm -hmm. And I personally would like um, to engage Brian Moynihan. Um, just to have another, for, we just have another yeah, opinion. Right. 
a board rep, someone representing our board. Yeah, yeah. right. Because Jim Barlow represents the town, and right. he doesn't yeah. want it. And he said no, yeah. he would not. Which represent I understand, the he board. can't represent both sides. But we yeah. did have a, a lawyer. Scott I think it's in your best interest it. to have. So. I, I think it would be in our good, uh, mm -hmm. best so. interest, and to have. Hopefully, we don't have to consolidate, but <laughs> to have another lawyer we can call on when we need some advice if we want to for our particular board. Mm. It never hurts to have someone you know and have been through an issue with them um, to kind of know how where it is and um, that's, but we're not at the action time now, right. so mm -hmm. I think. But this is the discussion. This is discussion. Chris, what, did you have a comment? You well, I have two, I think. Mm -hmm. The first one is, and I really don't know the answer to it, which right, which is why I'm asking the question. Mm -hmm. Do we or have we, do we assume or is there some sort of issue with the document as presented? Not the document, our amendments to the warning. So, so oh, I just want to be clear. So we, we want to hire a private counsel to get us out of a mess that we created by amending Apparently. by amending the well, we warning? No. no, we didn't make them. I, I'm, I don't, I'm just, I, I really don't know. Yeah, this is, well, I, I think. think we're, we're hiring private counsel to review the three documents. Okay. So yeah, that goes back to Chris's first question. Mm -hmm. Is there a problem? Do we think there's a problem with those three documents? Like, I don't, I just don't know. This is a surety. This is done, you know, the advice of uh, the, the town's lawyer, too. You know, Kevin, somebody from the school board side, yeah. side our own counsel, to you know, have a second opinion on it. It's kind of a. It's it, at the very least, it's kind of a protocol review. You don't. You. I mean, it's best in that legal review if you've got a couple of opinions, on, you know, on this. Yeah. So sure. So, yeah, I mean, this I just didn't know if there was a, if there was a, if we had a problem we were looking to research, or if it was just a general review. We just want to, We need to make sure that we do this correctly, so that that doesn't create a legal problem later if we. Do. So we have to know. Excuse me. I shouldn't interrupt. Okay. So we're looking at, what we're discussing is hiring Brian Monahan and his firm to review the three legal documents mm -hmm. on behalf of the Callis Board to enter into this agreement with the town of Callis. As well yeah. as yeah, the warning. The warn, as the, well the, as the, the warn. warn okay. Look. The yeah, amended language. <coughs> okay. mm -hmm. We've got some questions. Okay. Denise? So I think what this does is we don't want to get to a meeting, a joint meeting, and the town is represented and we can ask our attorney questions and the new folks have questions and there's nobody there to answer them right. on your behalf or for you mm -hmm. from a legal perspective. And we don't want to have this, we want to have this meeting and get it done and not drag it out. Okay. So if we get to a meeting, a joint meeting, and you don't have legal representation, we then that's stuck. Then, yeah. then you're stuck. Okay, so we're talking about having an attorney to represent us during a specific meeting time. Well, right. before and and, yeah. and, and in and advance, he's before. reviewing right. these. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. John? Yeah. All right. Just, just to be clear, the the town is a separate entity from the town school district. Right. Right. right? Just kind of walk through this, if not only for my sake. We have hired an attorney. We've yeah. consulted with an attorney. We've done that in an executive session. And we've also had conversations with you all. Mm -hmm. um, we presented the documents. Our attorney developed them. Theoretically, when if you did a real estate, any real estate transaction, you're buying a house from someone down the road. You always have counsel. You could it could be your aunt Till, who you love to death. You still always have your own legal representation mm -hmm. to advise you as to the the pluses and minuses of the proposed transaction and the documents leading toward that. Um, so, so, so we the, got so, that. So, so, right. so you, the idea of this district, which is not the supervisory union, right? The supervisory union is a separate entity from the Cowell School District. There will be a, a merger and it'll be one district. That's not yet happened. And for that reason, this is ha needs to happen prior to that merger. Mm -hmm. That I supervisory understand. union is made up of a number of towns which each have particular interests, and then there are the particular interests of the supervisory union unto itself. So for instance, Scott Cameron, he's the attorney. He's beholden to the supervisory union. So if the chair of the supervisory union says, I don't like this, what Callis is doing, 
Please meet with me in my office at my place of business. Mr. Kimball, please come along. And they could meet in executive session and have discussions about how to, I'm not saying this is what would happen, about how to rework something that might be more favorable to the other interests mm -hmm. represented at that supervisor union. There's nothing wrong with that, but what's wrong with that is if he's also your counsel. In fact, it puts Scott Cameron in a very difficult legal position. I would be surprised, I'm actually surprised he continues to serve wearing these two hats. You, this town is a separate entity from the supervisor union. You are a member of the, the, the larger group. You are not a representative of the larger group. You are a member of that. And Scott Cameron represents the larger group. He is not uh, an attorney unique to your district. For that reason, I would strongly encourage you, as uh, Jim Barlow was encouraging us to encourage you, um, to hire your own counsel to represent your interests. When you go into executive <coughs> session, it's about your interests and your needs. We don't have to know. We, the select board, might have an interest, I don't think so, that might vary from what you think is in the best interest of this school and this school property and the future of it. Um, you need to have that, that private conversation with your attorney. That, was, that attorney needs to then have the freedom at your authorization to have a conversation with our attorney. And, and then if we're all together and we have a conversation, you might have a question that you don't feel comfortable right out there expressing. You might want to say, we like to have a private conversation with our attorney. These are all the parts of, and the interplay that happens. It, there's a problem with Scott Cameron doing it. I know he provided some level of service. Um, I think you're really, it, it's not a good idea. Well, okay. this is an avoidance, got, it, it, plain yeah. and clear, it's just an right. avoidance of conflict of interest. And that's, you know, because it is the town of Callis. Yeah, that's right. By getting well, rid of it, by okay. going with. So to bring us back to where well, we wait, are, let's finish I think, that because let's get. No, it. no, I think I heard Scott though. He's he said it very yeah. clearly. So, I think where we are is, we consulted with Scott Cameron. We did get some feedback. There was no conflict. He did say he was interested in, the potential imbalance with the other schools. But we also brought these documents to the other schools. We said you. Are welcome to use this model and Jim Barlow mm -hmm. was really open about offering that so I don't think that there's any sneaky mm -hmm. imbalance happening there um, it does sound like our board is interested in potentially retaining our a second attorney to represent us in a meeting with the select board to finalize the process mm -hmm. so I, think I, I think that's where we are right now question. And, and I don't know Jim I don't know Mark right. at all right my advice with you be whoever it is, right? Whoever it is, so I'm not disparaging yep. anyone. Is that they have attorneys on staff that know Title 16 because education law is a, it, it. This is where we've seen it, and we've talked yep. about this before. Municipal law and education law sometimes can get in conflict with each other, and that's I get tripped up in that all the time. So I just want to say you're going to need somebody that has that experience within their staff, right? Because um. you said he has municipal experience. And, and that he may have education, so I'm not trying to disparage him. Yeah, I understand there's municipal and there's municipal. There's, there's municipal there's, there's education. Right, right. I, mm -hmm. yeah, I get you. Yeah. Uh, well, it, education, the, the town, uh, a, a school board is a municipality. Right. So municipal can cover school and town. And I, I, can, I can check that out for sure. Mm -hmm. um, with whom you like, I just... Yeah, oh, I think it's important. I, I think he would have said, if he didn't have that type of experience, he wouldn't have said, I'll take you. I have no experience, but I'll try. Right. He, Scott, attorney, Scott Cameron, attorney's not going to do that. Scott Cameron's real bailiwick is not education law. It's personnel. It's actually yes. personnel. It's contract. I've worked with Scott for 30 years. Yeah. Okay. His major interest <coughs> is so, personnel. And I know what this real estate is a big law. part of Moynihan's. Monahan. Yeah, I think that's good advice, though. We'll just check and make sure. Yeah, that they're nice to have a second yeah. opinion. Yeah. Um, then there, looking were, at the there was a second now. question that I had, which oh, yeah. I'm not Sorry, sure. Chris. We'll, it's fine. <laughs> Go ahead. No, this was all, this was exactly what I wanted to talk about, right? That was important for me to wrap my head around the whole process and idea and the whys and all that stuff. This was great, and I appreciate the explanation. Um, second question is, and this probably is because I'm new to the board, really mm -hmm. um, 
how do we pay for our her own attorney? Right. This is a good question. <laughs> you, have, you have a line yes. in your budget okay. that's for legal, uh, for legal services. Okay. So there's already, yeah, it's already some yeah, some yeah, set of yeah, amount of money. Like there's like six different attorneys depending on their specialty, just yeah. as John was talking about. Yeah. Well, that That's answers Chris. that question. I'm glad you brought that up because I was. <laughs> Good. So I was just like, oh, great. We're going to, you know, potentially approve to have this attorney and then well, we can't pay them. The, the, we're going to pass the hat. We're going to pass the hat. You pay for them out of your budget. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll get back to that um, on the action agenda. Okay. Thanks, everyone. <coughs> um, so we are on to, where are we? Reports. 4.1. <laughs> yes, reports to the board. 4.1 administration. So Bill Kat, is Bill and Kat. Tonight. Yeah. Um, well, I gave you part of her, um, of Kat's report about the work, the <coughs> successful work with the Plainville She has a written report in here as well. Um, she's been working a lot on configuration for next year. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that she really wanted me to highlight, it's in here under instructional coaching, that uh, Ann Carter's been just really helpful to many of the that's staff here. That's what I was thinking of, yeah. yeah oh. And oh, that, okay. that's, that's gone on really well um, with the staff and their math instruction. I actually saw some of that one day when I was in there and working with Callie. That will continue next year. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's. I mean, that's an SUY. Yep. I don't know if this is the place to ask, but last time when when Cat was here, she was telling us the. I maybe um. I need to hold the what I was going to say, to executive session. I think you might. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Great, so that's that? Yep. Mm, cool. I, okay. This is where I jump in is on buildings. Yeah. Okay. Um, we, in the process of doing the septic system, we ended up losing our engineer, but I acquired Don Hirsch to pick up to do our annual inspection. I'm working on getting that done. We may not be in compliance with that because of the late, when I was informed that we had lost Dufresne. Um, and with my conversations with Don, we're still <coughs> working on trying to get started in the spring. There's still a lot of questions on the materials and the sand filter with the state. So that is the How, how did we on. lose Dufresne? I mean, it's... Because we um, started working with Don Marsh on the sewer, okay. On the I, sewer I, I, and I thought he was being included. I thought Dufresne and Henry was being included in everything, and they weren't. And they got mad at us and said, "Okay, no longer All right. doing business with you." We're, we're going to be fine. I mean, Don's yeah, Don, Don, Don's new, yeah, Don. Yeah. I mean, I'm having to keep on him, and but um, I think that's it at the moment as far as one of the buildings that I wanted you guys to know about. So. Mm. Thank you. That's and hopefully I can keep the heat <coughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. Let's move forward. That's you'll good. Uh-huh. Okay. <coughs> so we're still having to deal with the state over the material that we're replacing? Yes. It's still the state is still trying to make a final decision on because specs have changed from when this was originally put in to now what their standards are. The material that's in there they're not agreeing with that we can put back in but they can't find what they want to put in there that'll work so mm -hmm. they're going back and forth so I, I think in the bottom we're going to end up with what we have in there right now okay. yeah but that, i mean don's going to take care of all yeah that. yeah that's why yeah. We hired him. yeah yeah that's good that's why i hired him. okay thanks chris All right. 
Um, finance. And fund balance. And fund balance. <laughs> so your uh, finance right now is, um, it has, we're closing down the books right now. Sandy and Kat are closing down the year. We always do it right around the presentation. We ask people to... <coughs> Okay, right. there. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry. Just set some <laughs> no, level just, layer. We don't need you choking. Over no, there. I'm good. I'm good. Um, and so you will see next month in May, probably a, a, a newly updated. You were, I know you're all familiar with it. We do a September, or January, and a May yep. Yep. update, unless there's something new that we don't expect. So okay. that was, uh, things have been pretty normal this year. So that this sheet hasn't been updated on page 12 since that, since uh, January because we've been just running off the budget there hasn't been anything new that's been anticipated that was that wasn't in the budget and that we need to come to for um, page 13 you'll see the capital fund is pretty much where from all the bills have gone through from this year so we're at 75,500 um, and you see the other three funds there the one student activity and food service with the merger, I just want to make sure you are all up to date. We talked about some of this in transition, so Dorothy, yeah. this is twice for you. <coughs> okay, and Rick, because you yeah, were I as would, well. Yeah, I would, yeah. Um, but these funds will roll over with their intent. <coughs> right now, we're trying to figure out a cash flow issue. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean, that, so I don't want you to be concerned that the callous money is going to be taken and go somewhere else. You've heard from me for the past six months. The money that's in the callous capital fund is for the use of callous. It's not for the use of any other building. That was the intended fund. And it says that in law that all funds that are coming in, designated, stay in. they have to stay for their purpose. Whether it's a capital fund, a student endowment, uh, like East Montclair has a music endowment that gives support students that need mm -hmm. funds for music lessons or instruments. So those all stay with their purposes. Um, the piece that we're running into is if you read the memo that I sent to the transition board is we're having a cash flow issue because of when the budget is yeah. being voted on. The 30-day, basically. Yeah, so it, it's, we're going to have to figure that out. We might have to lend ourselves our own money and then put it back. Right. It's kind of a temporary, it's temporary like short-term loan. I'm going to take it out of my savings account right now <coughs> over my checking account. Once I put it back in the checking account and I get my paycheck, I'll put it back in the savings account. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the best analogy. But then in the end, now the fund balance isn't specified for anything. No, but I'm hoping that in June, as I've said to you before, and I've heard you to say, let's keep this on the agenda, Dorothy, that that 108000 almost 109000 you're going to have to leave some in there to clear your bills. Because you, we're not going to have all the bills cleared on June 30th. Okay. Right. Yeah. But you can, and I think it's going to be a two-step. It's going to be a motion at one point, and then... I think we can find a way, Laurie and I have been talking about this, once you go past June 30th, that this board, because you still sit, if there's a merger, till December 30th, Right. we're trying to find a way that you can say, okay, whatever's left, because all the bills have been played, checks have cleared, because it's 90 days to do that, the rest of it goes into the CALS building fund. Again, yeah, the my capital fund. Thinking, capital fund. I call it building fund, but mm -hmm. capital fund. Um, Dorothy, I, I go back to my intent I said earlier, thinking of the people that are running for the merge board, I think they would all intend for that to happen. Yep, I think so. Is this, I mean, we can, in that, is that something we can build into that with some action? When we That's what I'm trying to find <coughs> out. Intent, if, you there's, know, if there's a way... To encumber it, more or less. To, I don't know if you can encumber it, because you're not going to know the exact I, amount. I get if it. If you knew the exact amount, yes, I know how to do that. It's without knowing the exact amount. Um, and so... You can't use the word remainder, huh? Yeah. You could ask your attorney. <laughs> <laughs> what wording? Well, that's, a, that's another topic, and we, if if we sign this, hire him, what we're hiring for is that specific thing. Mm -hmm. That's a good question for you. Yeah. So I, I think the intent is there from every all five elementary schools to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. um, right. And to use and put all that money into the building. Capital funds in each building. Mm -hmm. to the from, from there, from their general fund. Right, right. the no. remaining balance. There after. hasn't there hasn't been a board. This is the same conversation at the other four elementaries. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're going to be fighting with one of them to say they're no, doing I, something else. You're closing the expenses and then. Yeah, so the question, I think, it's more about how do we do it. Right. Uh, it's mechanics. It. Yeah, it's how to do it. And can it be? Can it be? 
foreordained before the <laughs> dissolution of our power, basically. Well, that's you. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say is that uh, you have authority over the FY19 budget. Mm -hmm. So when does that money come over? That's in the articles of agreement that mm -hmm. does transfer, and how does that work? Mm -hmm. So we need to figure that out. Yeah. I, don't know. I think. I mean, I think anyway. At any time, when I look at what's there. We're going to know most of the bills before June. So there might be a June, a late sure. last week of June. Maybe we have a June twenty seventh meeting. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah right. That's it. Yeah, we're going to move this. Oh, Let's that's what we used to have the um, board retreat. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get more onto that. Okay. But I think everyone's intent is to do that. To do that. Do we need you know? There, do we need to start meeting every two weeks for the next coming for the coming period? Is there any reason? Is, are these monthly meetings frequent enough? <coughs> With some I mean, we're going to have to have a special meeting. Yeah, right. Already in that window. But, yeah. um, I don't think there's anything we urgently need to do between now and our May meeting. Is there something you were thinking of specifically? No, I'm just, these uh, issues keep kind of popping up and Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of time between now and June. I mean, the end of June. So the question, it's more of I a... Think, I mean, the, what do you mean by these issues? Can you take that? Well, just things line like line? that, what we're arguing here with the uh, with I mean, that, the sale of land. I, you know, and I don't so know... that who, one I see you... If there are other... I'm just trying to make sure we... Are there going to be other budget meeting. issues that we have to kind of address as a board and not cram into a single meeting? You know, in the end, will we get up into June or... You know, I, I mean, I'm fine with doing that if we need, if if you've got some idea of decisions that this board will have to make between now and the end of June. The fund balance is the biggest one for me, Rick. Mm. So, about, and then... About transferring from general fund to capital. But I don't think us meeting in between is going to help that. Okay. Well, that just, I'm putting it out there. <clears throat> I'm, I just want to make sure that we've, right. and I, I, we've got I, adequate time. I wonder, though, right, <laughs> if there's some sort of... Um, I don't know the word I'm going to use, so I was trying to be all fancy. But um, I don't know that there's anything between now and the next meeting, but there likely might be something. Maybe. Yeah, we might we might meet every week in June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> quite possibly. I'm, you know, I don't, and I don't so see that happening. no. Yeah. But I'm just saying there's going to be some. We have at least but one yeah, we we will be meeting with the select board. We know that already. Um, I hope to have that. In Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree. I'd like yeah, to. Well, I don't want I, that to be we last need minute. We need to have that within the next. Yeah. So By mid before mid mid May. Can I actually make a suggestion? Yes. Mm -hmm. That you do that as soon as possible because if right. you, I hope you don't need another special district meeting. Yeah. Right. But if we but did, need we need thirty days. days. That's what I was thinking. So you know yeah. maybe we can between amongst might. us before the end and say. Yeah. Well, I hope since I saw the minutes of Tuesday night, I was like, oh, I just hope we don't need to have another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to make sure for you, so it's all the same yep. time. Yep, well, I, I was thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. and Doc, can I make a suggestion? That you send, if you haven't already, um, Brian the warn, the warning, and then the minutes of the meeting? I send him the warning. That's the other thing I was couldn't think of, but I sent right. him. I sent him the warning, and I told him, I think I told him roughly how we... How we amended the warning. I'm not sure the minutes have been published get, yet. I'll, I'll get well, the. Just said they were. Uh, yeah, I see it there. I can, I, I can pull those. They'll be online, right? Yes, they're not up there yet. They will be. I mean, I, yeah. I, if you, Dorothy, you send me an email, I'll make sure. Yeah. Sure. Then well, I, I can send I can, it directly to, to Brian. Brian. I think it would be better if it came better from the. Yeah, I'll, I'll send him, and I'll call him tomorrow and tell him that yeah. we have this time frame. Yeah. And what what does he have for days in the next week or ten days, mm -hmm. and then match it up with what we can do. Right. That's right, and really define. It's better to what ask him. And where did you get those said. no dates? Those are dates that are the um, select board's already meeting, or we I got the the, the select board was already meeting, and I used the this thing that um that Bill sent. No, no that oh. Bill sent around. All the meetings scheduled from April 3rd until okay. June 25th. Okay. And so I knew 
for us what when I couldn't be there or whatever. Right. Okay. And um, I just I told saw them, that list of dates and I thought, oh my goodness. And I, I said, is that right? These are the days we cannot meet. <laughs> well, it even so. gets worse when you start throwing in the other schools. Let me look at it. I mean, right. it's terrible. Right. Well, okay. Thank we can you. meet times, different times, right? That, well, that's why there was a transition meeting at 4 o'clock here. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they needed to have it, and they decided it was easier to have it here and go right into the mother meeting. And we're also we're doing the same thing on the 2nd. We're having a executive board meeting mm -hmm. and then a transition board meeting. Mm -hmm. so a lot of us are doubling up. Oh. Right. So. Um, okay, so okay. tomorrow morning, I t in get in touch with Brian and I tweak well, to send me the. Any minutes. other questions about finance? No, I think so. It's pretty clear. Okay. So, executive committee, Dorothy, you told us some. Well, I was just looking at the minutes from it. <laughs> mm -hmm. as, w as when we um, talked a lot about the, the um, meeting coming up, the um, organization meeting, how that was going to go, mm -hmm. and also about the hunt for the, a new superintendent, mm -hmm. um, gave people permission to meet with um, Mark Andrews and prepare a an ad for a new superintendent. For That's a, basically what we did. For a temporary. Temporary yeah, yeah, yeah. one year superintendent and I overheard Matthew tell somebody that we had three or four good applicants. That's, That's all good. I know. That's encouraging every time. I was gonna ask that question. That is encouraging. I was nervous that there wasn't gonna be anybody. It's <laughs> late <laughs> There are all these people in the world who want to take on a challenge. Mm. It's, a good, a challenge. it's a good district. It's, no, a challenge. it's a good district. It's a good district and a challenge to get through a messy place. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. So I think that the next, the policy committee and the school quality committee have not they're met. On hold. So they have not. Yeah, they're on hold. Them. And the negotiations um, committee. Negotiations can. committee, I think I Bill you, is going to update us. Oh, right. yeah. So you have an action agenda item to approve the SP contract. The negotiations committee of Susanna, uh, Carl Winky, Vera Frazier, and uh, Stephen Look, because they're representing the ESP. Mm. Romney and Doty are not covered by the ESP agreement. Okay. Their personnel never came into the association. So um, the four schools are represented by those four representatives met with the SP leadership um, on, eight, on April 2nd, first or second, and one night came to an agreement of a 3.5% salary increase uh, for ESP. We've been trying to raise the uh, lower... I think people want to know what ESP oh, is. Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah, it's our right. education it's support personnel. So our custodians, kind of food service, paraeducators. And you said Doty and... Romney are not part of that organ. They have never voted to come in as personnel. So they have non-bargaining non contracts. So they're not part of the association. Oh, I see, they're not part of the union. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. They, they still have, separate. Separate. It's, it's they still have the custodians. They it's, just, a, yeah. it's totally up to the personnel. Oh, I see. To they, in the initial formation, well before my time, yeah. they never joined to come in. Oh. Sometimes they talked about it, um, but they decided they haven't wanted to come in. Uh, they must be doing well. Right, if they want to work. So there's a, there a 3.5% salary increase that was negotiated for one year. The health care that was negotiated with the teachers was done with the ESP at the same time. There were a few working conditions. Uh, we added a couple class of, uh, not a class of employees, but some job descriptions of a behavior interventionist. call it for uh, personal care attendant for students and uh, we added some extra pay for those folks because they have higher qualifications than a para paraeducator mm -hmm. needs. And we're trying to hire our own instead of contract out with outside providers on that. We think it's a win win. Mm -hmm. we, can handle, so we can keep them more in the district. Um, there's also
Oh, the other thing I forgot is they wanted access to Vermont Employees Retirement System because they did not have access to it as an association. They had access to our 403B plans. That would be the municipal. The municipal, yep. Exactly. So now they have access to our access to the schools. They so choose. It, does, it wasn't, there's an upfront cost for the whole, for all four schools split, but there isn't any. Um, so it, it, I don't have a figure of what the actual increase cost is for Cal's, but it's well within what we can afford, and uh, you know, it was, has been adopted already at uh, Berlin and East Montpelier next Wednesday, U32 will go down. So, okay. Are there further questions on that? It's a one year agreement, just like the teachers, because we're required to have all, all agreements cease. Start that fun process all over again. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're getting so good at it, they'll just be able to. Just right. Mm -hmm. This is in the cycle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Negotiations are always tricky. Okay, I think we're ready for the action agenda. So 5.1 is to approve the ESP contract that Bill just spoke about. So, so moved. Any further discussion? Okay, so all in favor of approving ESP contract for academic year 2019-2020 as negotiated by the Negotiations Committee. Please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? All right. And 5.2 is to approve um, hiring Brian Monahan to represent us to review the documents and the amendments amendments to the warning and to, to represent, represent us at a meeting with the school board. Yes, select 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 board, board. Let's say we are the school board. <laughs> I always yeah. do that. Yeah. It's confusing, doesn't it? I always yeah. do that. And I suggest you might just say it's retaining Brian. Yes, that for was the word I was looking for. For services regarding <laughs> Easement option and use agreement. access agreements. Well, there's three. Yes, yeah, so I, I was trying yeah. to listen right. to the right the there. Easement, yeah, did. The they easement, did. the easement, the option, and, and use agreement. Access. Access. Use agreement. Yeah, use agreement. Three. There's three. Okay. Use agreement, easement, option. And the option. Yeah. 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 To retain okay. Brian Moynihan for services regarding the easement option and use agreement for the Cal School Board. Board. The Cal School Board. And you might want to just add in other related Right, to issues. cover the last issue we were talking about. Right, and other yeah. issues related to this matter or something. Right. Just so you have a little bit, okay. you don't tie yourselves into this. Yeah, a little wiggle room is that what you yeah, yeah, that's the word. Piggly wiggly room. <laughs> so, um, and I have, I left mine without, we have to also, to vote this out, why don't we vote this out, designate an authorization, authorized agent to sign it. Uh. But that's, we need to accept it first. Okay. I'll so move, I'll so move. You've got the motion. Right. Rick, Rick so moved it. Right. I'm trying to <laughs> so to, just, to retain. So you're going to want a new agreement just because of the friendly amendment you took from Denise. Which? No, you don't. No, no. Oh. Well, oh, yeah, absolutely, because this was yeah. very specific. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is this is very, very specific, so we can't, well, we, we can add something to it, you're right, mm -hmm. and we would have to so then, have right, well, then you, don't want, then you don't want to have to have a new letter, so you're, yeah. That's right, that so I, I would rather go straight with this, and if there's mm -hmm. something else that we want to add to it, then we ask Brian how we can do that. Mm -hmm. you can, well, you does can engage, not. You can do another engagement letter. Yeah. Does not but the, it might be covered because of it all kind I was going to say, together. doesn't the, this warning, you know, the warning with the amendments fall under? I think under that falls under with respect to. Regarding the Cal School District's convenience. Yeah. Yeah. You start talking about another issue, and frankly, I already forget what it is. And I uh, normally I'd be right with Denise and saying, I, I am with Denise actually on this. If you want more wiggle room, 
if you want more wiggle room, you need a different lead. Right, but you don't want to have to wait. Right. Right. So I suggest. I think Dorothy's. And right. I think for the just moment, go with we then just add another letter if yes. you need, and, it, and we yeah. approve yeah. it. We we, so we need to get this done. done. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. So will you read so our motion? So Rick moved to approve to retain Brian Moynihan for services regarding easement option and use agreement for the Callis School Board. Now, what do you want to say about the warning? No, just say that, and we, you don't need to say the warning, but if yeah, you say that that's we, part I, we of authorize the issue. whomever you want who's sitting here tonight to sign it in your motion. Rick, say who you'd like to authorize to sign it, and the board authorizes. Yeah. Dot, you're working with, I would okay. authorize. Okay. And, and the board like authorizes. authorizes. Dorothy Naylor. Naylor to sign it. As to the act as agent on behalf of authorized, authorized agent. On behalf of Callis School District. Read it one more time, or are you good? I'm good. What about I'm you? I'm good. Okay. Press <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good with it. I'm good with the wording. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No, yeah, I'm good with the wording. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All in favor of the motion. So there's oh, discussion. Discussion. Sorry. sorry. Discussion of the motion. My only, I'm for it. Honest to goodness, I'm for it. I think it's a great idea to have somebody look at it. I think it's important to do that. The only hang-up that I'm having is how much money is it going to cost? Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm freaking out because, yeah, right. like, I don't want to spend a gajillion dollars on something that we may not even have needed to have happen. It's a protection. You don't know. It's an insurance policy, number one, but I can't imagine this using more than two hours. Maybe four hours if you're counting travel. Right. So we're really talking about under $1,000. So can we set that cap? No, I would no. not. I think it's not going to take much time, but it would... I mean, honestly, you're talking about insurance we, policies. We're going to, we're going, <laughs> we're going to be, you know, we're going to be paying Scott Cameron, or we're going to be paying, paying somebody to do this. So it's a matter of this is just a, an independent source. So I mean, I, I, I mean, I think this is well worth every dollar we put in it, and it should not be that many hours of work. So right. I mean, well, if we I'm get not. prepared properly, um, I, just a meeting alone won't even take an hour I can't imagine then we're going to pay him to I mean we're going to pay him at least two hours there even if the meeting takes 15 minutes because he's going to drive from Burlington I, 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 I get that right that's so. a given every time I get a plumber costs right. 100 bucks so that meeting alone is going to cost us $500 yeah, probably this yeah. is yeah. this is definitely insurance for us either it's either or drop kind of drop the idea I mean it's we're going to pay Scott Cameron we're going to pay somebody I mean, the town yeah. Already drafted documents. The yeah. Already paid that. It's already right. done. Yeah. yeah. And, and it could so be. I, I. I'm just. This is just a suggestion. It's not necessarily what I want. But it could be that we would meet with him over the phone. And that would. We wouldn't even have travel time. Mm -hmm. And consider how much everything else costs. This is. Yeah. We would have to, if we do that, we would, we'd have to call a meeting. I mean, how would we do that as a... We're going to have a meeting have anyway. one, Well, what, I mean, if you did a phone, no, I we'd would, have to I, have one representative. We would have, <coughs> we, we would have a special meeting. We would each warn special meetings with Jim Barlow and Brian would be on the phone. Got you. So it would be a phone. I got you. You could, yeah, he could do a telephone. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. never as good as in person, but right. you could do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would no. pay him the two hours to come and be here face to face myself it's mm -hmm. it's face it's face small. is always better if you, yep. if you can mm -hmm. it, it really is i agree i and i don't disagree i just yeah no i think the, it's a great I, good the question. money just it bugs me i know because it has nothing to do with the kids well it does, it does. in the long run right because we're Maybe. talking about you know, <laughs> it's, an, it's a big yeah, asset. All of this is, you know, there's all this thing of in the Act 46. You, people aren't talking about the kids. They're talking about this and this and that. Well, that's all. You know, the kids need the building and they need their teachers and they need. They need to be able to come to and, to the it's part and all of that will be all of that as long as the school Activities is being used as an educational place will right. continue. Right. This but is solely for not being used as right. an educational. But beyond that, Chris, <laughs> we have 
met as a board and decided that we think these documents are a good idea. We've yep. now also met with our town, and the voters have said they think it's a good idea. Yeah, so absolutely. I think we're beyond the question of whether it's a good idea. I know, and like I said, I don't. Yeah. I'm not saying whether it's. A, I know. The, I'm, so I'm just saying we, is is we have to take is meeting with another decision. lawyer required? Right. I thought we had this discussion. Yeah. I, right. I, that was, and it, and that, it was really that about was the money. That's my question well, at the beginning yeah. too. I, yeah. I think, but I feel like. I'm going to call the question. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. All right, then. We have a motion on the table. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I mean, I don't want to not be. I just, it's just the money thing that just bugs me. I just want it to be known. All opposed. <laughs> <laughs> and any abstentions? All right, thank you. Well, I um, guess we say goodbye to the visitors. Oh, don't. What do we have? Right, unless button? you want to hear us approve our board yeah, orders. Board orders. Where are they? Have they been yes, they have been signed. signed. Yeah. So we have board orders in the amount of 19 for, for like Thirteen. three, yeah, 19,296 and 86 cents. Yes. Today. And then a second batch for 28,080.97. Sorry, right. six? <laughs> but yeah, sure, I right. have people that don't get out of work until six, so. I know. Okay, so I move to approve the board orders. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. And then future agenda items, small schools grant in May or June. What else? Um, fund. Ted was going to discuss balance also. And personnel issue around, I mean, follow up on. Well, we. How do we're going to go into executive session to talk about that. But we'll be doing that in future agenda, correct? She's talking about future agenda items, so we'll still be having. Possible discussion. hiring of personnel. No, maybe some possible hiring of personnel. Let's just say. Yeah, so. let's say possible okay. hiring of personnel. Mm -hmm. Personnel. Work communication. <laughs> Sorry, Jean. I'll do it. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Michelle. So, Dorothy, our permanent Dorothy board communicator. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you enter the executive session to discuss personnel issues at. Hmm? 716. You should have recognized that as a formal.